The wing assembly for Tejas Mark II will start by January 2024. The Mumbai police has announced that flying of drones, remote controlled micro light aircraft, paragliders, and hand gliders over the city will be banned till the 18th of January. Days after a major security breach in Parliament, the central government is in talks with concerned stakeholders to give comprehensive security of the Parliament to the Central Industrial Security Force. French President Emmanuel Macron will serve as the chief guest at India's Republic Day celebrations in 2024, after the US President Joe Biden expressed his inability to visit New Delhi. A contract employee working at Cochin Shipyard Limited has been apprehended for disseminating sensitive information, including videos and photographs of crucial components of a Navy ship under construction at the shipyard via social media. Bangalore-based Flying Wedge Defence has started a state-of-art facility with India's leading electronics manufacturer Tescom, to design and develop unmanned aircraft systems and advanced defence-grade drone catchers. The Indian Army has unveiled a multi-purpose octocopter, that is designed for 25 kg supply delivery to high-altitude posts, real-time surveillance and reconnaissance missions, and mounting rifles and grenades. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence has suggested contingency plans in case of further delays with the MRFA procurement process, and has advised the government to consider alternative option of direct purchase of fifth-generation fighter jets. The United States has not officially offered its F-35 to India, while Russia has proposed joint manufacturing of the Su-57 with India and UAE, and additionally, Russia has also offered its Su-75 single-engine stealth fighter, and the potential collaboration with Russia could provide viable alternatives to maintain the Air Force's operational readiness. Apart from 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets, India has also received price bids from France for three additional Scorpion class conventional submarines. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has submitted its commercial offer for three more Scorpion submarines on 11 December, but the commercial offer from Mazagin will be opened after the internal cost benchmarking is complete by costing committee. The three new submarines will replace the French integrated combat system with indigenous system and its 1,250 kilowatt man diesel engines will be also replaced with the Rolls-Royce MTU 4000 series engines, that will have its final assembly in India. Technical issues have emerged in the retrofitted fuel tanks on the newly upgraded MiG-29 fighter jets, that are located behind the cockpit. After concerns were raised about their structural integrity and fuel flow, the Air Headquarters has prioritized a comprehensive evaluation of the tank's structure design and operational technology to find a solution on top priority. Air Force's Base Repair Depot is leading the investigation in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics, and private industry expertise may be brought in to expedite the process. Today's Top 3 Comments Thank <laughs> you.